Hello, this is Stephen Withrow with Webicator. In this video, I'm going to show you a solution Suresh Ada came up with for constructor overloading and constructor chaining in Java. Suresh agreed to let us create this video showing his solution, which is available as an article on his blog at the URL shown here. Constructors are important methods in Java that create an instance from a class. In this blog, Suresh talks about constructor overloading, chaining, and also augmented constructors as well. An augmented constructor is a constructor that accepts one or more arguments. In this case, we see a bus class and we can pass to the constructor of bus the number of seats. The compiler will generate a default constructor with zero arguments if the developer does not provide any constructors in the Java class. Method overloading in Java means that the developer takes a method with a particular name and has several versions of that method. The developer can overload the constructor. In the example that Suresh has, we see three versions of the constructor. One that has zero arguments, another that has one argument, a third constructor that has two arguments. Therefore, we can call a particular constructor method, the method has the same name, but the number of arguments will determine which method is actually called at runtime. Constructor chaining means that one constructor calls another constructor in the same class or perhaps in the parent class. Within the bus class, Suresh illustrates constructor chaining. Notice that the second constructor that has one argument, the number of seats, calls the first constructor, the zero argument constructor. This is done so that redundant code is reduced or eliminated in the constructors. Constructor chaining also occurs when a subclass invokes the constructor of a superclass. For example, here bus extends vehicle. Bus is a subclass of vehicle. Notice within the constructor of bus, Suresh calls the constructor of the superclass. We use the reserved word super in order to call the constructor of the superclass. In this way, we have constructor chaining from the subclass to the superclass. I have duplicated Suresh's code on my computer. This is the bus class. Bus extends vehicle. Bus has properties such as the number of seats and the bus color. We also see the three constructors. There is a construct bus method which would entail procedural processing that might be required to construct the bus. The comment is a placeholder for that code. Also, I've added a two-string method so that we can print out the properties of the bus object and the vehicle. Bus inherits from vehicle. This is the vehicle class. The vehicle class has one property the vehicle name. This is the tester class called bus creator. Bus creator will create three buses. We'll invoke each of the constructors and then I've added print lines to display the different buses that we have created. I've compiled the code. Now I'm going to run the tester Notice that we have our three buses, a bus with zero seats and a null color. That occurs when we call the zero argument constructor. 
when we call the constructor with the number of seats, we construct a bus with 20 seats and a color of null. Finally, we create a bus with 25 seats and a color of blue, and that is displayed on the report as well. Thanks again to Suresh for the inspiration for this video. Check out his blog at the URL shown here for other articles related to helpful topics on Java development.